Hey guys, what's going on? Laska559 here. So today I'm going to show you guys how to install Ortho 4XP uh, into your X-Plane so you can have ortho realistic tiles and uh, scenery. So it's going to be pretty awesome, you guys. So first thing you want to do is you want to download Ortho 4XP. I'm going to put the link in the description for the uh, Google Drive. And then to uh, find the application, you're going to go into your Ortho 4XP folder. So you're going to extract go into ortho 4 xp you're going to go to binary and then scroll all the way down until you find ortho 4 xp underscore v130 so once you find that you're going to click on it and what that's going to do is it's going to open the ortho 4 xp application so to use this the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out what source for your imagery of the ortho tiles you want to use. I personally recommend Bing for most coverage in areas. So you can click on Bing. <clears throat> there is uh, the USA format. So there's, there's a lot, but I use Bing. So first select your imagery. Next, you're going to want to figure out what zoom level you want. Um, a good zoom level, in my opinion, is zoom level 16, 17, um, and 15. So those three are going to be pretty good zoom levels. Usually when I'm flying over terrain at cruise, I like to use zoom level 16. And when I'm close to airports, I use zoom level 17, very rarely sometimes 18. So pick your zoom level. Today we're just going to do 16. And then next thing you want to do is you want to go into your settings. So head on into the settings icon. And I know a lot of this looks confusing. But it's not that complicated. This is a very simple tutorial, and here we go. So you want to find your custom scenery folder first under custom underscore scenery underscore dir. You're going to click the folder, then you're going to go to your X-Plane folder and click on custom scenery, and just hit select folder. So once you do that, just click custom scenery and then select folder. Next, you're going to want to go to your custom underscore overlay underscore source. So you're going to that's basically your global scenery. So you're going to go to the folder icon, you're going to go back to your X-Plane root folder, you're going to go to global scenery, and you're going to click on X-Plane 11 global scenery, and that's it. Click select folder, and you should have these two paths. So whatever drive, X-Plane 11 custom scenery for the first one. And then for the second one, you're going to do whatever drive, X-Plane 11 global scenery, X-Plane 11 global scenery. And that's all you need to have. Um, and then the final thing you want to do is you want to go where it says max convert slot so put however many slots your uh, CPU has and that's for me it's gonna be six but depending on your CPU uh, you can change that to what it needs to be so mine is six for the i5 9400f and then once you get that you just click apply and then exit and that is pretty neat alrighty so to actually get where you want your tile to be you're gonna click on the globe icon and then from there, it just brings up a map of the world. So we can just go over to, let's see you guys, we can just head on over to Florida, for example. So to use this, you're gonna have to hit shift and hold down shift and left click, and that's gonna form tiles for where you want the scenery to be. So we can just do an example of Miami right there. And once you find your tiles, um, you want to batch build if you're doing more than one. So you're going to click all these boxes right here. And you're going to click on batch build. And as you can see, you can exit that. And that's going to start your uh, building of the tile. So it does take a little bit of time depending on your zoom level. But that's basically going to go into the four steps, I believe. And uh, it's going to construct your tile. Alright you guys, so once your ortho finishes uh, building the tile, what you want to do is you want to exit out, you want to go back to your ortho 4 XP folder, and you're going to go into your tiles, and you're going to see your new tile folder created. So what you want to do is you want to copy this, or drag it, into your custom scenery folder, and just put it in there. And then once that's in the custom scenery folder, you want to go back. And you see this right here, the Y ortho 4 XP underscore overlays. What you want to do is you want to also move that to your custom scenery folder. And you're going to have to do that for, you know, each time you make a new batch of tiles. 
and this will always just kind of <clears throat> be in your custom scenery folder. So once that's in there, uh, you're going to go to your custom scenery folder and you're going to go to the scenery underscore packs uh, dot ini and then whoops and then we want to <clears throat> drag that onto here and then you'll see that you, you're going to have your ortho uh, tile kind of folder it's going to be at the very top that's not where you want it you want to move that copy it delete it and then paste it right underneath the um, X Plan 11 landmarks where all your ortho tiles should be. Alright, you guys, and once you do that, you can load up X Plane and you are all good to go. Enjoy your ortho, enjoy the scenery, and uh, have fun. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you on the next stream.